guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. Today's video, I wanna share with you what my outdoor space looks like for my in-home daycare. First, I wanna share with you our playground rules that we have and kinda of how I set that up. Um, I always go over what the expectations are on the playground, what the rules are, and so that we don't have a lot of behavior issues because outdoor play is a little more open-ended than you know center-based play in your classrooms. And so I use Pocket of Preschool's um, playground rules, and I like it because she has a variety of different um, rules that you can choose which ones work for your program. And so I have made a book that looks like this. So it says being safe on the playground and I read this to the kids. It has about maybe 10 pages to it but she offers probably 20 to 25 pages so you can choose which rules work for your program. So I really really like that about her um, playground rules. I will link this um, product below. It's from Teacher Pay Teacher and so I have this. This is what we read every August or also if I have a new student enrolled into my daycare we will refresh the book and read it as a group again. And then also what I do is right by, so this is um, the door leading out to our outdoor playground and right by here I have a hook and on the hook I have just a little flip chart of playground rules and these are just like our most important rules just a refresh so if we have any issues on the playground I can just you know flip to that rule um, let me go to the first one it's play where the teacher can see you and so if I have someone kind of going around to the side of the house or something then I can just real quickly flip to that rule and be like hey do you remember that this is one of our playground rules instead of having to uh, read the book again and so this is also the same product. It's basically the same um, pages. They're just smaller. And so, and I just put a three ring binder on there. I get these little three ring binders from the Dollar Tree and they are awesome for making little flip books. You can see I've made ones for our shape review and a counting as well. And so, and I just kind of hang our little flip books on this hook right here. So let's get outside before it gets too hot. It is the middle of summer right now, so it, um, it is still early in the morning, so it's a great time to do this video. So the two times we usually go outside is before lunch and then after afternoon nap. But like many of you, we have to be flexible in in-home daycare, and when it is the middle of summer and it's extremely warm, we will usually flip that around and go outside in the early morning. Um, and sometimes that's the only time we make it outside during this hot season. Sometimes we can get out there afternoon, but sometimes at, you know, three to five is the hottest time of the day. And so, but I usually um, try to get the kids out as early as I can before it gets extremely hot outside. And so let's go outside. I'll show you how I set up our playground. And then I'm going to actually get my kids outside for a little recess time. Okay, real quick, I will just kind of show you what the whole outdoor space looks like. So this is a door leading out of our classroom. And so we have a really nice concrete um, patio here that the kids can play on. And then I have a smaller swing set. That is the swing set that I use for my ages zero to two. And then the larger swing set um, is wood border with the rocks. So I have ages three and older can go into that area. So I do like to break out the outdoor space into centers. And so one of the rules that we talk about is that they're not allowed to bring the center toys out of the area. So the first area is our grill center. And so they know that they're not supposed to take any of the grill items off of the patio or into the grass or into the rocks or anything like that. They kind of play in this area here. And so here I have just a grill and just some play food and they absolutely love this center. This one I switch every other week. The other center that I put here is um, a little icy shop. And so this week will be the grill center and then next week I will set up the icy shop and then I just rotate it back and forth. So, and then up in this little basket I keep um, just a variety of little trucks that we will take out into the rocks so they can sit and play um, in the rocks with those. And then this is usually where I sit while the kids are playing. Over here is, this used to be in my classroom if you have watched my previous videos. And so I put it out here 
and actually I actually liked it better in the classroom it has gotten pretty dirty out here and it's really hard to clean um, you can see like the dirt kind of fills in the sink and the water table once that rain comes um, it does not drain very well this is probably something that I will end up getting rid of the kids really don't play with it out here they played with it a lot inside um, but out here it is not really chosen very often to play with but the one thing that they absolutely love is this little doodle mat and I will link this below I have this up on my fence using velcro you can see and then I will just put a little bowl of water and a paintbrush and the kids can dip the paintbrush and then they can paint and it is just so cool they love doing this one um, and it just once it dries it just disappears and so you I've seen these a lot like you put them on the ground but I thought oh this will be great to put up and let them use them more like an easel and so this is a chosen center a lot and same as the grill center they know that they're not allowed to bring the paintbrush or the water you know away from this area if this is the area that they choose to play in um, this is where my zero to two usually play and my three-year-olds are not allowed to be on the slide, so it just gives the smaller ones an area to play with that the bigger kids will not be on. Another center I like to set up is just a table toy activity, so if the children don't really want to um, play or if it's getting warm, I always like to have the umbrella here and just a place that they can sit and just do a quieter activity. I rotate what is on the table, so this week we just have some magnet dolls and so they can just sit there and play quietly um, with the magnet dolls if they want to just do a quieter activity outside. Ages three and older are allowed into the rocks to play um, on this swing set. And then I also have our sand table here. I love having our sand table um, up instead of on the ground. I think it keeps the kids cleaner and they don't end up with sand all over their bottoms. And, um, I've had the sand boxes that are on the ground and I just feel like they end up being super messy. This week I have just sand um, shovels and pails and up on my fence here are the two toys that I rotate the sandbox. So this is where I put shovels and pails and then in this one I have dinosaurs and so next week I will switch out, I will take out the, the pails and the shovels and put the dinosaurs in the sandbox and so these are just on hooks from like I think you use them for flowers or something um, but that works really well and I just rotate that back and forth and then our last center that I like to do outside is our discovery center so this is our science center so right now we have bugs out and so I have just a variety of bugs that they can play with these boxes were from Target and they're my treasures and they open them up and they can put things that they find um, in the yard in those. I have a bug box, a variety of little tools to find things, some nets to catch little bugs and butterflies, and then I also put some books. So that's what I have here. I usually keep um, my discovery box out for about three weeks and then I switch it to something else. We've done bees, um, we've done birds. What I really, really like about this center is that at the end of the day I can just um, put a lid on this tub put everything in there and then I just take it back into our classroom and in the morning I can just quickly bring it out here and set it up the only other thing that we do is on Wednesdays we have wet and wild Wednesday and that is usually we will go up onto the deck and we usually have Wet n Wild Wednesday right here. So I just have some splash tables and then I have a couple kiddie pools and I can just set everything up in this area and then we can come out that slider here. Thanks for watching my outdoor tour guys. If you have anything that you use in your program outside that works really, really well, comment below, give me some new ideas. And if I had anything that you really, really liked, let me know below as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.